my channel for a new vlog so I thought I'd film a nice cosy autumn vlog for you guys. I've also got some new little bits in the house. I haven't filmed like a home updates vlog for ages because I haven't really, I've been sort of like waiting for the right pieces. I've said in so many of my other videos that since we've been in this house, we've been in this house like seven months now, so it's gone so fast, but I'm making sure that I'm ordering the right pieces for each space. And I finally found a console table which fits this space. So I ordered this from a brand called Cox and & Cox. And as you can see, we've got the radiator here and also like this bit. And it's quite actually, it was really hard to find a console table that fitted in between there and didn't overlap the door. So it was super hard, but also it lines up perfectly as well. I'm not sure if you can see down there with the skirting board. So yeah, that was really hard to find. So I found this one from Cox and & Cox and they had a discount code as well. So I thought I'm gonna order it, but it looks super nice here. I just feel like it makes it just feel a bit more like finished. We've also got this mirror on the wall. This is the one from the old days. It's the famous Dunnell mirror, which I think works perfectly here. I just need to get some nice bits here to style it, but I'm thinking like a nice autumnal vase with some decor in. I would like to put like a lamp on here um, but hide the cable and put some like um, you know, the rechargeable balls because we don't have a plug there. So I feel like a little lamp in this space would make it feel like super cozy as you've walked in. But I really love the tone of the wood. It's slightly different to the banister. It's a bit darker than the dining room table, but I think it looks really lovely in this space. So I thought I would share with you in this vlog. I'm also gonna pop to like Dunelm in this vlog to see if I can get some bits to style it. I've also ordered some nice autumnal decor to swap that vase over from Amazon. I love them for their faux flowers. They're so good. So I've got some nice autumnal eucalyptus and like some orangey tone flowers as well to pop in there. I've also had a lot of questions about my jewellery in some of my other videos, especially this necklace here. It's from Pandora and I love the chain with the pearls. You guys know I absolutely love my pearls and my jewellery, but I actually have some new jewellery pieces from them. So I thought I'd show you them now. Right, so I have some super exciting news to share with you, which I've wanted to share with you for the last month now. And this is definitely my biggest like career moment for me. So I've absolutely loved Pandora for years. I've always sold their jewelry. I love mixing my metals. I love my charm bracelets. I have a really old charm bracelet from my teens. It's in a box somewhere because it's super sentimental now. But me and my mom used to buy each other charms like birthdays and whatnot. I had one for my graduation, like my 16th birthday, my 18th, my 21st. Like I've literally got so many charms on that bracelet. I've also got the like glass ones I used to do. I don't know if any of you guys used to have a Pandora bracelet when you was younger as well. But me and my mum used to love the little glass ones. So I had like some pink ones, some lilac ones. And yeah, it's a super sentimental bracelet for me. And I've always worn their jewelry. Like, as you can see, you would have seen some of these pieces so many times. I get so many questions about this one especially. And yeah, it feels super exciting to say this, but I'm working with Pandora now for the next six months on my YouTube channel as an ambassador, which is just incredible. Honestly, when I had the email, I had the email when I was on the cruise ship and I remember it coming through um, in July and I was like, oh my God, and like I had to take a second glance and I was like, oh my God, like amazing. Like this has been on my like career list, like for doing this job, like for ages, it's been one of my goals. So yeah, I'm super excited and feeling extremely grateful to be able to share all my Pandora jewelry pieces with you as an ambassador. So I ordered a new jewelry box. Um, I needed a bigger size because I have like my little charms and they're sort of flying around loose in my other jewelry box. And I really like the compartments on this one so you can hang your necklaces here, put all your charms there, rings and whatnot. You can also take this layer out as well and there is a little mirror that sits on the top but I don't know where I've put it because I was using it for when I was traveling. So I'm gonna quickly run through the bits that I'm wearing now. So this padlock charm is new. I've just styled it on one of their chains. I've also ordered a thicker necklace as well, which is here, which I'm gonna try this on. And then this necklace I've had for, I'd say a couple of years now. I wear it all the time. I love the mix of the pearls with the gold. The earrings as well, I've ordered the smaller size of these earrings. Um, this one as well, I love the pearls with 
the silver. Like I said before, this is like my most asked piece. So many people always ask me on Instagram and on here, like where's the pearl and silver chain bracelet from? And I've ordered the matching necklace to this as well, which I'll show you in a second. And then this is my new charm bracelet. So I thought I'd get myself a gold charm bracelet. I'm not sure if you can see there. I've currently got these little charms on. So this is my airy star sign. I've also got a little, I've got a one loosely as well. So this is a little diamond heart, which is really nice. I've also got the safety chain as well. I used to have one of these on my old bracelet, but I love the like diamante detail on these. So it has a little stopper. It just stops like obviously protects your bracelet if it does come off. It's the safety chain. But I've ordered some more of these little hearts because when I was in Amsterdam, some of the girls there had a couple of Pandora bracelets and they were wearing like the gold and the silver ones with loads of these heart charms on. They just look so nice, like stacked up with those. And then this is my current ring combo. I love their stacker rings and this chunky one too. And then this is the pearl necklace version of my charm bracelet. As you can see, there's lots of pearls on here. I love the silver and they just look so nice layered up together. I think you honestly can't go wrong with layered up Pandora necklaces. And then this is the thicker chain necklace that I was on about. So I'm gonna add my little padlock charm on to this one. And there's also the matching bracelet for this, but I love the clasp, like how pretty is the clasp of this, but I really like the textures. Like I feel like with Pandora jewelry, what always draws me to them is the different textures. Obviously you've got your pearls, you've got your chains, everything just looks so nice together because the textures just add a different interest, but I feel like they really do elevate your outfits like I feel like I'm never like I never feel ready or complete without my jewelry on and then I've got these two new rings as well so this one is more of like a swirly one they do do a ring sizer as well on their website which I use to find the right size because each finger is different for me and then I also ordered this one too this can be stacked with other rings what I love about Pandora jewelry is that you can mix and match your rings you can stack them and yeah, as you can see, I love to stack and layer up on this hand because I have my wedding band and engagement ring on this one. So I feel like I do tend to put more jewellery on this side. But yeah, that's a little closer look at the rings. And of course, all the jewellery that I've just showed you will be linked down below for you in the description box. So super exciting to share that with you. Now, me and Russ are going to pop to Ikea because we are doing the guest bedroom finally. So I have some wardrobes hopefully coming in the next few weeks. So I'll be able to finally get that room sorted out. But we have some friends coming over the next weekend. So we have to get the guest room sorted. So we're gonna pop to Ikea. I'm gonna see if I can get some maybe vases for that table. If not, I might just try Dunnell. I'm gonna have a little braise. But before that, I'll show you the faux flowers from Amazon. So I've ordered a mixture. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep the faux eucalyptus in here. Um, but I'm going to have a little plate around with it. I'm going to definitely keep the vase and I do have a different sort of tablecloth. So I think I might have a play around with my dining room table style again. So fingers crossed some of these look okay. I feel like it's hard to tell from the pictures. So I ordered these little ones. These are like dried, um, like faux hydrangeas. Not sure you can see in there, but I might use them maybe in the hall. I'm not sure. I've just actually ordered a bunch of stuff. So I've ordered those, which are super nice. Maybe I could have them in here mixed with other ones. So that is potential. I've just opened these ones and unfortunately they're glittery. So I didn't even see that on the description, but I don't know whether to maybe keep these for like some like festive styling because they do have a bit of shimmer on. Then I've ordered these faux wild flowers. So as you can see, they're not as like cream and as bright as these ones. So I feel like it might make it feel that bit more warmer and cozier. I think I might have to order extra of these. So they've not been packaged very well, to be honest. They're a bit scrunched up actually. No, there's quite a lot in here. So, this is the faux eucalyptus. I think I just need to like have a play around with them and straighten them out. It's just they're a little bit, a little bit crumpled, which is a bit annoying. I might be able to, I don't know why they've done that. They've literally just rolled, rolled them up. They're very like, they're not as, like this is a lot thicker and the material of these are quite thin. 
but I might be able to make them work. The colours are lovely though. I really love the autumnal colours. So I might have a look at getting some like dried flowers as well. Maybe I might pop to H&M Home, but I just think H&M Home is so expensive for dried flowers. Like it's a little bit ridiculous. That's why I prefer just to go for faux ones. Um, yeah, I might have to have a little play around with these ones. for the guest room it's the famous Palais Ikea bed because so I don't want to lose the whole room just for having a bed in there all the time and I feel like if there's a double bed permanently there it'll just get full of stuff but we want to use the room as sort of like a snug room as well so if I want to say watch football what's the TV watch the and, and stuff yeah and we're going to get one of the is it that one we're getting yeah, that one we're getting those drawers as well because we've got like a little nook for the wardrobe so that can be in there and put a mirror on there I think we're putting a TV as well on there get them in there when the bed's pulled in but when we pull that we could fit it in technically into the side of the bed no we'll just get those two for now we'll just get really used to the space of the room but i think these are perfect for guests and there's loads of storage underneath there as well so size wise like yeah you'll be fine for a guest bed it'll be fine yeah be plenty but once we get this now i feel like my brother's gonna be <laughs> always staying as but it's just like panelled at the sides as well but yeah, we're gonna get this. We're also gonna get some of these for when my new wardrobes come, so you can see it just organises everything a bit better. One of the best things about IKEA is the meatballs. It's not the best, but it's one of the best. <laughs> it's the best. So we've got the goods, we've got the drawers, the beds, the mattresses, just got to get this get all in the car. We thought Your it would fit. As well. Yeah, it's I know it's going in more, but we bought two car. I know it's going to fit. We didn't want to hire a van or anything, so it should get in the car, we should be fine. Right, we've got some of it in the car, and the rest is in Russie's car. And Russie's dead angry and dead stressed because he hates IKEA. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm not allowed to touch Katie's car at all. <laughs> um, and have you got the other stuff? The extension lead and stuff. Yeah, it's, that. That's it's on I'm the floor down there. No problem, all guys. We'll see when we get back home. <laughs> TTFN to half an hour. Some days I can't get out of my bed. Some days I'm waking up on the wrong side of my head. I got all these eyes on me. Staring at me through my skin. Most nights I just can't wait to lie down. So tired from my so it's Sunday today, me and Hugo have had a super lazy long lying. I mean, I've been up since nine o'clock. Hugo literally sleeps in like a teenager. So he's been all cuddled upstairs and it's been like really rainy and I feel like now it's like hitting, it's 1st of October today. And I'm just like, yeah, the darker mornings, the rain, it's just definitely a lot harder to get up in the morning. But I just like sort of being at home and feeling super cosy. Um, Russ is at work today and then we're going to tackle building the IKEA bed frame later on. Because we can get a chance to build it. We've got it from IKEA. And we've also got the drawers as well. So we've got the drawers, the day bed, and then we'll get it all built up. I need to move all my rails out of that current guest room because it's absolute hell in there and move it in to my future dressing room and then clean it all down. I need to hoover. I literally cleaned all the kitchen yesterday. I went to Pilates in the morning. I've been doing that reformer Pilates and oh my God, I am so, I'm not like, excruciatingly sore but I could feel it like some of the exercises you do like I was saying to Russ like I used to I used to go to the gym quite a lot before obviously like before the wedding and the 
um, new house and stuff, like I feel like I sort of fell off my fitness like last year, but before I used to really love going to the gym, I used to love training my legs and doing stuff like that, but I felt sometimes, I've got really rubbish knees, I feel like as I'm getting older, my knees are just crap. <laughs> I feel like because I used to work like on my feet so much, um, and then when I used to work at h and I was always kneeling down on my knees on hard floors in the windows and stuff. And obviously my brother like works in the trade, he does plumbing and whatnot, and he, he's got crap knees, but he says he's uh, from kneeling down, so he's always got like knee pads to kneel on. So I think we've just both got crap knees <laughs> in general, but I just found doing weights and stuff on my legs always too much for my joints and before I used to do like hit classes and it's just a lot of impact on your knees and your joints and doing reformer like for me it's my posture I feel like I'm always sitting hunched over my phone like my posture is rubbish so hence why I want to get into doing the freeform pilates to help with my posture but it's also good for like a really good stretch out as well and yeah some of the exercises you do like we were doing like these like skate things yesterday I'll have to like vlog one time when I'm there it's just quite a busy class I don't want to film people working out so when I first started I was like oh my god what am I doing but yeah I feel like you really focus on getting the right form and the like right speed and you don't have to do loads and loads of reps of it and you feel the burn like it's all about form and it's obviously low impact and not showing you on your joints so yeah I've been really enjoying doing it I've done four classes now and I've really noticed a difference in each time I've gone to another class I've felt a lot more stronger my form has been better like they say in Pilates if you're not shaking then obviously like if shaking's a good thing so I was doing it yesterday and we're doing some new leg movements for your inner thigh and your glutes and oh my god my legs were like jelly like this like thank god my car is automatic because I got in my car and I was like oh my god my legs so I can definitely feel them today and I need to hoover everywhere in the house so I'm going to do a bit of cleaning um, I also need to, I've got some other faux flowers which have come as well, which I've ordered from another brand. I wasn't too sure on my Amazon ones. I had some, I opened them up and the quality wasn't great. So I've got a couple which I like, so I'm going to look at these new ones and then go from there. Um, I've also got a vase coming for the console table and yeah, I've also got a chair and um, some other little like decor bits, a side table coming for the living room, but I don't think that's going to arrive for this vlog. So that might be in another vlog, but I've got a really nice feature chair. So yeah, I'm going to get all sorted now, have my coffee, tackle the hoovering, and then it's operation and build IKEA furniture. I've honestly not stopped cleaning all day and Hugo has been helping me. He's just been chilling. Hugo. In the living room asleep all day haven't you so yeah i've been hoovering i've been decluttering um i've been moving my rails from the guest room into my future dressing room i've hopefully got wardrobes coming the next few weeks but moving all that the ikea rails are crap as well i've broken one with all my coats on it just snapped straight away so i've been trying to wedge everything down russ is back from work now you can see he's in so is it busy at work or not no, it's quiet. The, the, the rain is like because it's an absolute chucking down. So it's busy first thing and then it's just gone like. Yeah. Because the rain was chucking down. No one was going to come out and look at the stuff literally. No. So. so he's just got back now and we need to build the IKEA bed and I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> I need to move all the other bits I'm upstairs. I'm feeling quite uh, energetic, so. I know, I feel like I'm going to need to get, changed, to eat, to get then... changed and move everything out. But I've got a new plant out which I'll show you. So I finally put this little faux tree in a plant pot. This one is from Cotswold Company. So I just need to order some of the like faux moss from Amazon. I've just put a little cardboard box in the bottom to heighten the tree. And then I've just put some tissue paper and some packaging around it. So I'm gonna order some faux moss for it, but it looks really cute in the corner. Hugo's been super cozy in here. I've put a little candle on. He's been asleep right there for ages. Helping me hoover. What are you stretching? What are you doing? Hugo, what are you doing? You're going to help us build the Ikea bed. He's looking like bum in the mirror. Oh no. He's a little bum. Only pause. So the rails are all out. And look at the colour of the skirting board where my stuff's been. But I can't believe how much space is in this room. I've still got bags of stuff in that side. We've got some drawers to fill that corner. But I've just emptied this one side and given it all a good hoover. Just so we've got enough room to build the day bed. And then the day bed is just on here. We've got the mattress as well from Ikea. But this is my future dressing room and this is the chaos. So I've lost one rail. My coats and that are all here. But hopefully yeah, my wardrobes will be with me in the next few weeks. So I'm going to have to deal with this. I've dealt with this for the last eight months now. So it is what it is.
built now and I've just unpackaged the two mattresses so these stack on top of each other and you can spread them out then for when it opens and here's a look inside the drawer so lots of room here for storage I'll also put the guest bed in there pillows and whatnot I just need to let these rise up it's a really nice size and really great for this space as well we've got to build the drawers for later because we've got bags all this needs to be about the way it's all my stuff so there's some chest of drawers there which are going to go there which we're going to use for storage but yeah super easy I think it's a really great like guest bed idea and it comes out to the bed I think just by the radiator so there's still plenty of room not to walk through and everything and then we've just plugged in an extension lead down the side there but yeah super pleased of it I thought I'd show you these dry float as well I ordered them from a brand called Contempty so this is a brand that I found off Instagram. I feel like I find so many like good brands off um, like Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. Um, and there's lots of like small businesses as well. Etsy do really nice like artificial flowers. I do have some bits from Amazon, but I'm just gonna see what these ones are like first because these are okay, but I feel like these ones look better. They were a bit more expensive. I feel like I want to keep a box of like autumnal decor and like seasonal decor and like I'll change it over. So I feel like dry flowers are really hard, or like faux flowers are really hard to judge online. So I was thinking of doing like a mixture of maybe these. And then I also have this colour as well, which is really autumnal. So I may use this one for in here or that one in the hallway. So I'll have a little play around. I'm still waiting for a really nice rustic vase to come off Amazon as well. Um, and then I ordered these two bits. So I ordered some faux eucalyptus, but more of like a darker brown stem. And I was thinking of like mixing these two together, maybe for that one, but I feel like the lighter one might add a bit more contrast to it. I don't know, I love doing faux bouquets. And then I also ordered these like wild, um, the artificial blossom in white. They sort of look, I'm not sure if you can see on here, they've got like autumnal like colours in and tones. So because of the stem, I thought these would be really nice to mix in. So yeah, these are definitely a lot nicer than the other Amazon ones that I've got. They are just obviously, you do pay a bit more for stuff like this, but I just feel like I wanted like decor especially like faux flowers to last and not just mix them up but like, these are such good quality and i can keep that all together and store it safely i might just use this box actually to store it i love these like, these look so real so nice so yeah excited to style that and then i ordered these as well this is some it's called snail garden full artificial centerpiece so Let's have a quick look at these because I did order, I've got some new pictures to return. So there were two, like two orangey and then the one that I had ordered some autumn leaves and they were glittery. So I think they sent the wrong ones. But let's have a look at how these look. I feel like I might be able to manipulate them. Yeah, I'm just waiting on this Amazon vase to come and I'm hoping that it's nice. It's like a really nice, it's like a rusticy grey brown, like ceramic tone one like my Zara one. And yeah, I'm hoping that it says it should come either today or tomorrow. So I'm hoping that it does come. So then I can like do the styling and then I'll change all this over and everything. And yeah, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna grab. So comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. So wonderful. The star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've just got to Home Sense. I was after some of the little like rustic vases, and I feel like Home Sense is really good just to find like little random pieces. So yeah, I'm gonna try it in there. Also, I don't know what I would do without this Uniqlo bag. It's literally the best shoulder bag. It comes everywhere with me, but I get so much in it. I've got my camera tripod in here, my purse, my phone, my keys. My camera's been in there as well, my vlog camera. It's just literally amazing. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel 
so lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not bad to come. The way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room, it's not optional. Gravity just pulls me right to you To you mm -mm. Even the dark, they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel So lucky I met you And I still so that was a very successful shopping trip. So I popped in to Asda after HomeSense and how nice are these glasses? They're from Stacey Solomon's range and yeah, I just love the texture of the glass and also the thin handle as well. I got two of these and these were eight pound. So these look so premium and so nice. I also picked up this little dish as well from Asda. Honestly, I love Asda for glassware, but yeah, I can't believe how nice these glasses look. You can sort of see on the picture there, they look so nice. Then I found some little rustic pots. First is this one, which is super nice. It was only 6 dollars Honestly, Home Sense is so good. Also spotted this one as well, which I really like, but I'm gonna be getting a sideboard for the dining room after we've done the paneling. So I was thinking, oh, that looked nice in here, like with some stems and stuff in. So I'm sort of like picking things up that I see that I know I can style somewhere. And this was 7 dollars And then I also spotted this. Home Sense is so good for marble. I've got like a little marble foot stand on the coffee station. And I always get so many questions about it and it was so cheap. And this was $14.99 and it's marble. Like it's absolutely, yeah, it's natural marble, handcrafted in India. And yeah, it's really nice. I was thinking for maybe on the kitchen side, I was gonna swap out the one decor bit, so the one over there. I was thinking it might add some nice texture to the sides of the glass. So I'm gonna have a little plate around. And of course I had to get some candles from Home Sense. Hey, cute, it's a little pumpkin on here. This smells super nice as well. This is their white pumpkin. And then I picked up another one as well, which is the pumpkin citrus, which neutralizes pet odors. Cause Hugo is such a stinky dog, literally so smelly. I love the little lids on them as well. Lamp shades for the living room, cause we've got hanging lights. I thought I'd grab them, just looks a bit nicer than just the hanging bulb. And then when we do decide on what fixture we want next year, and we decorate everything, then yeah, there's no point me buying actual fixtures. Like I wanted the fixture for this one, cause I knew what I wanted. But I don't know how still I'm gonna decorate and whether, yeah, what piece I'm gonna have in the living room. So these are a quick fix for now, but super cheap. Then I picked up this little vase from Dunelm, another candle as well from Home Sense. And yeah, I love Dunelm as well for these little boards. This is like a really nice like whitewash oak. So I was thinking to put that on the side here, put a little candle on. I really wanted to get a little pumpkin, but I couldn't find any anywhere. So I thought oh, I could put that on there and put a little pumpkin, but yeah, I couldn't find one anywhere. I might have to look on Amazon. And also I picked up these, which are so cute. Look how nice, there's an apple, a little wooden apple and a pear. And I thought for the kitchen, it'd be so nice on the side styling, but we're gonna have some shelves fitted on here. Uh, on the side where the window is. So I was just thinking, oh, that looked really nice like on the shelves. Then I picked up this little tray as well. I'm thinking for maybe the bottom of the console table. I still need to have a play around with that. And of course I picked up some more stems and autumn decor. So I picked up some eucalyptus ones, a bit lighter than the other ones. So it'll add some different tone to it. And then I picked up these little ones as well, which adds some nice texture. So yeah, these were like £2.50 a stem. So yeah, they have loads in there. 